Hi friends, I am Hayagri. Today I am going to say a story. Once upon a time, there was a king who ruled a kingdom. He was a very proud and rich king. He always says that with money everything can be done. But his queen was wise. She says that without wisdom there can be no money. So, one day the king asked the queen, Oh queen, tell me for real, which is great, money or wisdom? Then the queen said, If you are asking me for real itself, I say that wisdom is much more important than money. So, at this, the king gets furious at the queen. So, he banishes her from the kingdom. So, he didn't give a single penny for her. He also made her aware of the jewelry she had worn. So, when she was banished, she didn't know what to do. She thought of starting a business, but she did not have a single penny. So, she told one of her servant to get a white cloth and two bricks in it and get it tied up and put her stamp and send and sell it to Dhanu Seth, the merchant in the town. So the queen said like that. She said to ask for 10,000 rupees. So when the servant did as the queen said, the merchant gave the money and the servant took it to the queen. So queen started her new business. In a few days, she has earned that much money that she has given the money to the merchant which she has borrowed and she even built some buildings like hospitals, uh, orphanages and many except parties. So now let's continue the story from the king. The king thought of doing tour of the world. So while going and going across a country where he got a message from Queen Chaubauli that whoever defeats her in chess gets to marry her and who will fail will go to prison. So the king thought of trying the challenge. He went to the queen. So while going in the way, there came two frogs. One was a person who did not have an eye. He said that he had given an eye for the loan of 3000 and he was holding the money of 3000 in his hands and said to it in the eye. The king had not had or given or taken money from that person but he just believed and gave him some money and he kept him quiet. Then came an another fraud. He was without an ear. He said that he had taken a loan from the king of 5000. He said and gave the 5000 and said to return the money. He gave the money and he asked to return the ear which he has given. This time also the king believed that fraud and gave him 10,000 and kept him quiet. So when he reached to the queen, he was out of money, nothing. So 
when he played with a chess he lost so he was in prison when the news reached to the queen she thought of saving him so she went in a get up of a disguise of a boy to the queen chaubin so as per the rule she had the queen had defeated the chaubili or the queen and she was to marry her so on that day she told to release all her prisoners so on that day night she and the king returned to the kingdom while going the king saw that the queen was not given a penny but built this many buildings he got the prize and then he started believing that money is only not great but even wisdom is very important to earn money so this is a value inhibited from the lesson